Welcome to Starbase Pink. Let's start the updates with Falcon 9 rocket launching from Space Launch Complex 4E, carrying 20 Starlink satellites and two Starshield satellites for the United States Space Force. This is liftoff. And liftoff of Falcon 9. Go Starlink. Go SpaceX. So now we have a total of 13 Starshield satellites in space, 11 version 1.5 and 2 version 2 Starshield satellites. And here we can see Falcon 9's first stage landing on of course I still love your drone ship. It was the 10th launch and landing for Booster 1075. At Space Launch Complex 40, SpaceX team successfully tested the new emergency chute from crew tower to the ground will be used in case of an emergency for crewed mission. In the meantime, at the same pod, Dragon C-209 is on the pod 40 for the first time. This is Cargo Dragon, planned to launch tomorrow, so we will see a lot of crewed mission from pod 40, allowing SpaceX team to work on Starship launch pad of 39A and launching Starship from 39A in the future too, taking no risk to lose the capability of sending astronauts to the International Space Station if anything happened to Falcon 9 launch pad at 39A. Elon reacts, he said, even though it's meant to be used for emergencies, it looks like a lot of fun. We have some pictures too. Not just astronauts, but this can be used too by the workers on the pad and the ninja team too, so everyone will be safe, not just the astronauts. When Shatwa reacts too, she said, astronauts and personal safety is SpaceX's highest priority, which is why I had to personally test the new slide. As reported by Christian Devonport, Queen Shuttle said that SpaceX team are planning to launch Starship B11S29 in about 6 weeks. With no satellites on board, maybe they will put a wheel of cheese instead. As a part of NASA Tech Leap Prizes Nighttime Precision Landing Challenge, this is Astrobotics Zodiac Reusable Rocket Testing at night, and we have Lift off, but not from the ground. That's it for now, this is the end of this episode, see you tomorrow.